hello guys welcome to my channel in this video I am going to implement bank application in Android this application I am implementing in various programming languages maybe you have watched some of my tutorial I have implemented it in Java C sharp visual basic Python and C++ the application is to learn the concepts of polymorphism, inheritance and is the relationship and composition and aggregation concepts. Introduction Application to demonstrate objective programming concepts of Java programming language including inheritance, abstract classes, abstract methods, overriding and polymorphism with Android application for the sake of learning programming. The Android application will be used as a front end to interact with the user. It also includes aggregation relationship represented through a bank class that will manage the bank accounts. Inheritance is the relationship and has a relationship. Inheritance is, the, is a relationship that indicates a class is the subclass of another class is the relationship that promotes code reuse which is basic advantage of the object to enter programming has a relationship is to represent composition or aggregation for example a person is the base class and a student is a subclass now the now the student is also a person and it can extend the functionality of the person class to specialize Polymorphism provides another advantage where child classes can override the base class methods and provide their own functionality. Java provides polymorphism through late binding. In the, the concept of late bind, binding states that the functions are called from the actual class of the object instead of the reference it is pointed by. Abstract classes cannot be instantiated. They provide a blueprint that child classes extend. Abstract methods must be overridden in child classes to make them concrete or complete classes so that they can be invoked and used and their functions can be called. Overridden methods called for polymorphism through late winding in Java. Implementation bank account class will be the abstract class that serves as the parent class for, for the checking and the savings account it includes the fields for balance and account number we keep the things simple checking account is the subclass of the bank account class that includes the transaction fee on the withdrawal of transaction savings account class is the subclass of account class that includes the yearly interest rate that will apply to the balance and we add the interest to the savings account bank account class represents the aggregation of accounts and manage them note this code base bank account checking account savings account and bank class all these four classes are implemented in java in java object entry programming tutorial and also java bank account swing application to video tutorial you can watch these two tutorials on my channel and in this video i am going to implement android app that will use these four classes and provide the user interface using constant layout and we will not concentrate much on the ui instead we focus on the functionality of the application Let's begin coding. Thank you guys. Hello guys. I have created bank application in the Android Studio using Java programming. So the project template is empty activity. I have copied Java classes account, bank, checking account and savings account 
from the Java tutorial for the swing application I wrote in the Java object Printer programming series so you can copy those files from the repository and use it for development of this application so I, I will make the UI front end and use the bank class and the account checking account and savings account classes to manipulate them okay so let's begin with the UI layout we only need single UI so <coughs> this is default setting constant layout we keep this and let's use the values from the string file okay it's always good simple bank app to make or to put values into let's put comment labels buttons so button text will go here string name let's make a template and that's it we will feed the things into it it is up over so btn withdraw let's use xml style names btn withdraw text withdraw and btn deposit text deposit and we need create btn create text create account okay next we need uh, i think i have implemented transfer let me check account no no transfer in i think in c plus plus or c sharp solution i have added the transfer function let's keep it as it is okay mm, value sorry and the c string and we can add string name median check test check balance okay labels lbl account number text account number and next we need lbl balance text balance and then we need lbl balance sorry amount text amount for the transaction i think that's it if we need something we will add up okay let's put a main label lbl main text simple bank application okay let's begin layout okay here let's change this string and uh, we need here main label lbl main text okay so we keep this button to the bottom of we will change it later and this is okay this is okay and this is also okay we can remove this okay it will go and upward and let's add padding padding let's say 20 dp okay this will give a bit more space around the label okay size text size let's say large mm. mm. 
let's go for points it's too big and dp this is better okay okay let's add other components and we also need text for the radio buttons btn sorry rad rad withdraw sorry rad checking and this is saving checking savings okay let get back to the okay now we need to add one more text view let's put it here remove this one to get the default font and we will change the label lbl account number and this is okay this is okay and top to the bottom of mm, let's put the id here id id lbl main okay id lbl main okay this will put it there okay now we need a an added box add a text okay let's set the size match parent and wrap content okay next we need to set the constants add a text and let's copy these three okay and this will go under the lbl id id lbl and this is account number account number okay next we need pair of text box and text field okay copy this paste it here change the names and let's make it amount for the transaction lbl amount text and this will go under the let's name it also id id txt account number okay this will change to mm, one minute text view edit view and this text view this text, text view will go under the account number txt account number and now we need this text box let's put the id 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 txt amount and this will go under the amount label okay next we need a pair of these two text view and add a text for the balance balance okay let's change this balance text and we need this one here to align it and this is balance this is txt balance balance and this will go under this one okay now we need buttons uh, let's say radio buttons okay let's add the but uh, radio group radio group okay and this will match parent and this one wrap content okay let's copy these three strings and put it here
and everything is okay we just need to change this one so it will align properly okay now we and need another thing orientation orientation horizontal okay let's add radio buttons radio button okay and this will go hmm, let's say wrap content and wrap content okay text text will be already checking and next thing we need id 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 already checking okay we don't need event handler for this button because we will check it has been clicked okay let's close it let's copy this and add another button okay this will become savings and change the label saving okay that's it well, we have two buttons here now we will need to add command buttons let's add the gravity center not here in the button group okay we can make one of it checked true so it will be selected at startup okay now the buttons button okay and this will go let's say 150 dp uh, i think 120 dp is good okay and this will wrap content okay padding let's say 10 dp and we need the alignment and copy these three and place it here and close this and we will add event handle also and this will go under the group let's make id of it id id and let's say button group i do not use ui template template to make the ui because i prefer coding as it gives more command to lay out things and next we go for this one and other button okay to make them side by side okay start of start and this will go to the end to the start of let's give them ids id id btn mm, let's say create okay and this one id id and btn let's say check check balance okay so this will go to the start of id btn check and this one start to the end of id btn create okay this will properly lay them out now text um, string btn create uh, sorry this one is btn underscore check and this one is text and btn becomes create where is create okay let's put it here string and btn create add sign okay so over two buttons are properly laid out now just copy them and we will change the ids
deposit and this will become withdraw and we change this thing okay let's let's change the left right okay so start to the end of btn deposit and this will become withdraw okay so alignment is okay now now the top constraint button group and now we will this will come under the create button and this will come under the check button okay now let's put another constraint constraint bottom to the bottom of parent okay and same goes for this one okay these two buttons are down now bring it down and this will be on top of btn balance id btn um it's not balance it's um, withdraw okay and uh, let me change the text btn withdraw and btn deposit okay now change the bottom constraint of this button also and it will go on top of deposit okay let's bring these downward okay this will be on top of checking or create btn create okay these two are aligned properly now bring these downward this will come on top of button group okay and this will come on top of added but added text txt balance sorry txt where is balance okay now copy this so that we can bring these also in the vertical alignment and this will come to top of lbl balance and this will come on top of txt amount and this will come on top of lbl account lbl amount and this will come on top of txt account number and this will on top of lbl account account number and that's it now over ui is properly aligned horizontally and vertically that's it guys now we will add the event handlers okay let's add the event handler on click and let's say do withdraw and let's create this function right click more action and add event handler button in the main activity okay we will add code later now let's add event handler here too on click and let's say do deposit mouse over more action and add the function and this one this is check so on click and check balance 
mouse over add action okay next last button create on click create account and let's go to create the event handler okay now we are inside main activity code code behind the code and let's create bank private bank bank okay now text fields private add a text and txt account number private add a text txt amount private add a text txt mm, balance okay now we need mm, i think we don't or oh, two two more things radio buttons private radio button rad checking private radio button rad savings let's map these buttons to the ui txt account number find view r dot id dot mm, txt account number and txt amount point view r dot id dot txt amount and txt balance point view r dot id dot txt balance let me check the id of balance field already checking back this is back tx txt okay update this one also and that's it one more here okay let's go inside main activity and it is here now radio buttons checking point view r dot id dot radio button checking and savings point view r dot id dot mm, savings that's it guys we have the map mapping now and shortly i will add the code into these functions so that we can handle the button clicks okay guys let's start with the create account function to create account based on selection of radio button okay so first we need to create a bank object this dot bank is equal to new bank okay we will use this function and first check radio button selection if this dot already checking dot is selected we can also used dot is checked okay let's try this okay account account is equal to null okay account is equal to new checking account and we need to add pass the id dot let me see whether what function I used for the ID. Mm, withdraw, deposit, get account, and this is a uh, the counter, and it's supposed to have a function also. Get fee, get next account number. Okay, it is for the bank class because it is static okay
something is wrong let me check okay the name was deleted okay checking account constructor okay double fee also right let's say mm, 1.75 okay now if this is not selected we will create savings account new savings account bank dot get next and might be we need interest rate let's say 5% 0.05 okay add bank dot add account account okay let's notify user so we will create a toast make text this account has been created account number okay and toast dot long dot show this will display a message okay now we can do other functions mm, checking check balance okay try catch okay toast dot make text this invalid input and show it for a long time dot show okay and we come here pass the amount double amount is equal to double dot pass double and txt amount dot get text dot dot to string okay and we also need account number integer dot parse int txt account number dot get text dot to to string okay we have both the things okay let's use bank object if bank dot deposit account number and amount so we notify the user let's copy this for saving some time okay transaction success for okay And we can update the balance also let's update the balance okay mm. this dot txt balance dot set text string dot value of percentage point two f let's make it dollars and we call bank dot get account account number and get balance okay this will display over what is wrong here okay this is supposed to be format okay and we show error here okay transaction failed okay guys now we will do the other two transactions here let's say deposit deposit funds let's copy all the code from checking account and okay sorry we don't need amount here we are checking the balance okay account number and we don't need these two things 
and we don't need this one also okay we keep rest of the thing okay and we can use this code into deposit because we don't need to change anything we already wrote it okay guys that is a good thing sometime adversity bring you something good okay withdraw function okay we need everything same we just need to change the function call withdraw that's it we are done here and let's run it this uh, emulator sometimes takes a lot of time to load my computer is pretty fast so it loads quickly on slower computers it sometimes it takes a lot of time i will make video to show you how to configure emulators and on different machines and screen sizes and other hardware profiles okay over application is up and running and let's create an account we to create an account we only need to change these two things okay create account has been created with account number 1001 okay so we can check the balance now 1001 and balance balance is zero okay let's add something let's say with add 5000 okay deposit okay amount is added and transaction fee is deducted okay i have not cleared the input fields Be best practices we should clear the fields but this is for the sake of learning so let's keep it as simple as possible and as shorter as possible okay now let's add another amount let's say 3000 and we deposit okay deposit is made let's create another account let's say checking account so sorry savings account create saving account created okay next let's show its balance and balance okay let me clear these it, it won't take a lot of time okay we create two things amount field create account txt amount dot set text and just copy this segment txt balance txt account number and this will clear everything okay now check balance we clear txt amount okay and for deposit we clear amount field and amount field from here too okay let's run it for the current changes okay create account account created and left check balance and balance add amount let's say 5000 and deposit okay deposit is made and let's say we add 2000 more and deposit is made and let's withdraw 1500 withdraw withdraw is made balance operator let's create new account create and we can see its balance here check balance zero and let's add 500 deposit okay that's it guys this is a simple bank account application that you can use code from previous java tutorials in the java object printer programming bank application and build the ui and you can learn how to use constant layout 
and how to do backend coding and how you can keep it very simple it's very simple i'm not teaching you ultra modern the ways of building ui and other things i am a professional coder i love to code so i build the ui from the code that's it guys see you with the new video take care have a good day and subscribe to the channel and promote the content thanks guys